Hi guys, uh, welcome to my channel, Anchored Advice. Uh, this is going to be a Leo reading for December 18th and 19th, 2021. And of course, there's a whole bunch of people out there. This is not going to be every single person's story. Take what's yours, leave the rest alone. Also, feel free to swap around the energy. I could always be talking to a cross watcher or someone that you're dealing with. And uh, just so you know, we have the Gemini full moon right now. So that being said, negative thoughts could be coming up. <laughs> my neighbor. Anyways. So, um, you know, we have the Gemini full moon right now. I believe that's where I was at. Um, so that being said, Gemini is like your polar opposite. So there could be like negative thoughts coming up right now. Don't feed into that negativity. Okay, guys, don't feed into it. It's just a, it's just a phase. This cycle will end. Okay, this moon cycle. Okay, so Leo, you versus them, December 18th and 19th, 2021, Leo. We still have Venus in retrograde, guys. It starts on December 19th until January 23rd. And Venus rules the planet of love. So past love could be coming back or you could be dr being drawn towards a past love. One more shuffle, Leo. December 18th and 19th, you versus them. Yeah, welcome the new and keep the faith, okay? Um... Try not to worry. Uh, try not to get so caught up in the past or stuck in a mindset of the past. Because I feel like right now, um, there could be decisions here that you have to be making. And uh, you just have to use your wisdom. Okay? If whatever's not for you, ask for it to be removed by the creator, by the universe. Even if it hurts you, you will heal. Okay? What's not meant for you should go. Because I feel like here, you're holding on to a lot of things with these emotions here um heavenly signs and you might be having a sign to go towards someone or to leave something behind i feel like your person is wanting to take the next step now maybe wanting to pursue you maybe wanting to be a better person um maybe just wanting to dietary change eat better but either way i feel like you guys are forgiving each other for past things so some of you guys could be trying to start um a, a business of your own or like some sort of uh, entertainer type thing keep the faith in that okay keep your motivation remember why you're doing that don't let that go keep the faith that that will grow so leo you versus them december 18th and 19th One more shuffle, December 18th and 19th, 2021, Leo. So some of you guys could be dealing with a third party situation because right there I had three and three. But a third party situation doesn't always mean another person. It could be like a third party is your job. You know, you're focusing too much in work or they are. Um, but see, I feel like both of you guys are becoming mind, body, and spirit. But you guys are emotionally on the same page. Both of you could be focusing, again, I feel like in work a little too much or focusing too much on money. And, uh, but either way, I feel like you're becoming emotionally independent. You're not really relying on anyone to make you happy. And you're just learning to walk away from all that negativity. You could also be walking away from the fire. Like people always trying to fight with you. And you're just moving forward on whatever it is that you have emotions for. You could also be dealing with a cancer. I have 987 here. So some of you guys could be feeling like you're going back. You're going backwards or you're going back to something, back to yourself. On your person side, page of cups here, they could be reaching out or telling you that they're sorry. And this and it's going to make you happy. This was something that you wanted them to do. But they could be hesitant, uh, feeling hesitant about whether or not you're going to leave them. And with this musician card, they're trying to make sure you guys move forward, not backwards. See, Ace of Wands. There's going to be a new beginning here, Leo, with someone here that is going to give you lots of attention. It's going to be equal give and take. There's going to be lots of passion here. It's looking like they are stable, so they're not broke um, with this King of Pentacles. It could also be Sagittarius that you're dealing with, but I feel like this person has been patient about reaching out to you. Uh, they've been praying, keeping the faith here. It could also be an Aquarius. Because you give them peace of mind and they've been trying to manifest you in. But I feel like here would take the next step now. They just feel like right now is the right time to reach out to you. And they're patiently waiting for a new beginning. 
mind, body, and spirit here. And at the top of the deck, we have the Wheel of Fortune. So things are going to be getting better. You guys could have been playing games. And with these poker chips, it kind of reminds me of that song. Gotta know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. Know when to walk away. So it's kind of like there was just lessons here that you guys had to learn. Uh, what is that Page of Cups, Leo? Person. See, they, they're, they're wait, they've been waiting to talk to you, and now I feel like that conversation is coming in. What is that Two of Pentacles in the Star card? Leo's person. See, they have hope and faith that you guys will end up boyfriend or girlfriend, teamwork, partners, um, business partners. You know, they have faith that you guys will work together. What's the Two of Pentacles? Leo's person. But I feel like there's, what are they hesitant about? Yeah, see, there's some sort of mindset issue. You could be more financially well off than them, and that could be why they're hesitant, or they're just kind of a little bit intimidated by you, a little bit insecure. See, King and Queen of Pentacles there. We definitely have counterparts, but there's some sort of distance between you guys, King and Queen of Pentacles with the Five of Pentacles. So, it could be emotional distance, physical distance. Um, what is that, Two of Pentacles? Leo's person. Four of Wands. Some of you guys are dealing with a twin flame situation, but it feels like this person, you know, they would love to move in with you and have some sort of long-term relationship with you. That would bring them peace. And this is exactly what they're wanting with that musician card. Musician, real person. And, but they might not be telling you with the Page of Swords. They could just be watching you, communicating very little. What is that musician, Leo, one more card? Thank you. Um, and it could be because right now you're you're doing you or they're just trying to have a fun time. And with the Knight of Wands, the King of Cups, and the Lovers here, it could also be a Gemini that you're dealing with. This is a strong soul connection here. But I feel like, you know, they're watching you do you. They're watching you have fun. And I feel like, again, they're wanting to come in. With the Page of Pentacles upside down, both of you guys might be knowing that you guys have to change some things about yourselves. Um, in the sense where this person could be kind of fake. Where they're not telling you they want you. What is that chariot card, Leo? The chariot card, Leo. You could also be traveling right now. Going to travel to see someone. Talking about traveling to see someone. But I feel like you're you're going towards your dreams and your goals, Leo. You could be wanting to pursue someone who's financially stable, wanting things to move faster. What is that? Six of Wands, Leo. And Eight of Cups, Leo. You might have to be walking away from something because it looks like someone's going to be giving you attention here that's very honest. Um, they're going to speak to you very clearly and straight up. This person could be a leader of some sort. You have like a man bun also. They could like wearing boots, black boots. What is this Six of Wands and Eight of Cups, Leo? So you could have left people behind. That way you could get your own footing, like uh, your own stability. You could have pursued a new job. Again, some of you guys are starting that business, your own business. You're working on your business, but you need to have faith, okay, that it will be successful with that Six of Wands. You're just going to leave all that negativity behind. Sometimes you have to leave people behind because you're moving to that next level and not everyone can go with you. And if you're losing friends, just understand that the universe is making room for new friends. That's all. So I feel like you're getting blessings here with us. Ace of Pentacles. What is that Ace of Wands and that Nine of Cups? Leo. December 18th and 19th. So Leo, I feel like I'm listening to your heart, okay, with this Five of Swords upside down. You might have cut someone off, but not 100%. But these emotions here, I feel like you still have emotions for this person. What is that Five of Swords upside down, Leo? You see the Six of Cups. I feel like this person misses you. That's why they're going to be coming in. But with this Queen of Cups, you might be emotionally manipulative. Like, you know, you like things your way or the highway. That's not a bad thing. I'm just pointing out something that I'm seeing here. What's the Queen of Cups upside down, Leo? December 18th and 19th. One more card, please. Thank you. See, you could have spent a lot of time and money or invested a lot in this person. But it's looking like they're wanting to come in. Uh, they've been changing their mind, viewing things from a different point of view. And they're not really wanting to repeat the past. 
So I feel like they're trying to offer you something stable, another opportunity. They want another chance to maybe get you pregnant. You can have kids with this person. Um, they want another chance. I feel like they love you unconditionally. They see you as like super sweet. And with the world card, they want a new cycle. Three of Wands, this is exactly what they're planning right now. Uh, but there could be a lot of fear, doubts, and hesitation in this. So this person, you know, they're going to take this next step and speak to you. Leo, you versus them, December 18th and 19th. See, they're wanting to spend time together. December 18th and 19th, 2021, Leo. You mean a lot to me. At the top of the deck, one more shuffle, Leo. December 18th and 19th, 2021. You guys tend to have different love languages, so that's why there's misunderstandings. You know, maybe someone likes to ex be more expressive with love. Someone likes to be more buy gifts for love. You know, someone likes to be more nurturing. The other person likes to be more, you know, just buy things. But either way, I'm working on my confidence here. And then fake poser. You see, I feel like they're not telling you that they really do want you. Leo, you versus them, December 18th and 19th, 2021, Leo. On your side here, we have look at your pictures. So you could be looking at this person's pictures, Leo. You tend to, December 18th and 19th, 2021, Leo. Baby mama, baby daddy drama. So someone could have like um, dealing with co-parenting issues. December 18th and 19th, 2021, See, fake poser. Leo, right now, you might be, oh, I'm only saying it because it's on, on your side. Feel free to swap it around, however it relates. You might be feeling, you're, you're kind of being fake that you don't love this person. You still do. It's coming out right here. You still love this person, Leo. Right now, you're just kind of maybe bitter or resentful at how things went. I feel like it's the feminines in this case, not all Leos, okay? Take it how it resonates. I'm sorry if I triggered anyone. But here with the inconsistent, unreliable, I feel like you've invested a lot of time and money into this person, even though they weren't reliable, they were inconsistent, had a lot of false promises. It's just poker face. You know, I feel like that's what you're doing. You know, you're kind of like, oh, I don't care. But in reality, you do. You're just kind of um, maybe upset about past things still. Leo, you versus them, December 18th and 19th. Yes. I'm like, yes, that is the truth. Yes. You still love them, but it's like, you want them to go through some sort of pain or you want to be vindictive or um, you're just, you want them to hurt because it's like you haven't forgave what they did to you. Oh. On their side here, we have um, secrets, lies, and patience. You know, see, they're waiting for you. This is on top of the lovers and the king of cups. They're secretly loving you. Both of you guys love each other. But I feel like they love you unconditionally and you haven't forgiven things. Leo, you versus them, December 18th and 19th, 2021. Here in the center, we have Lazy Bum doesn't like to work and unblock me. So someone here doesn't like to work. So that's where, again, I feel like someone is more financially well off than the other person. Or someone just wants to be taken care of or live off the other person. Leo, you versus them, December 18th and 19th. See, they're going to text you, they're going to DM you, they're going to email you, even though they're inconsistent here, okay? Um, they might, you might be blocked, or you blocked them, but both of you guys mean a lot to each other. See, they still want this for life, that's why they want to speak to you here, but I feel like you're, you're pretending you don't want them because you're being a gold digger right now. You know, maybe they're not financially well off and you're caring about the status quo. Or again, it's like, no, screw you for making me struggle. I spent a lot of time and money on you. And now I'm going to pretend that I don't care. But I still look at your pictures. You know, it's this is, res this is very specific. This is not for all Leos. December 18th and 19th, 2021, Leo. See, they're obsessed with you. Here in the center, we have competition. So both of you guys feel like there's competition here or you guys are competing against each other. You versus them, Leo, December 18th and 19th. And you might be feeling like this person's not good enough for you even though you miss them. And both of you guys are kind of figuring this out. You guys still want this. It's just both of you guys are kind of confused. And here on your person's side, again, they're addicted to you. And they know that you guys are a perfect match. They're obsessed with you. They want this for life. 
But Leo, I feel like some of you guys are holding on to some. You guys need to work on those emotions here. All right. It's like you guys have kind of got used to being alone or you prefer to be alone right now because you don't want to give anyone the chance to be able to hurt you. Uh, but either way, this person wants to talk to you here. Um, they could have blocked you if you're being a player with this uh, block on top of the Knight of Wands. Or you blocked them for them being a player. Uh, but either way, guys, the love still stands here. I feel like you guys might be kind of holding a grudge. Um, and that's fine. I'm not saying what they did to you was not bad. You know, uh, we, we all experience trauma sometimes. I'm just saying if you still want this person, then, you know... Holding on to that is not really going to do anything because I see you guys ending up kind of getting together anyways. You know, if this person is going to talk to you. They're going to take that next step, but they're working on their confidence here and they know that they have to have money. But all right, guys, I'm going to go to close it out here. If this resonates with you guys, you guys are more than welcome to like, share, leave a comment and subscribe. Much love. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please take care of yourselves and I'll be talking to you guys later. Thank you. Bye.